Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Conformational Analysis of and butane. Dear students, prior to the discussion of conformational analysis of n-butane, it is essential to understand Klein, Prelog system of nomenclature, to describe conformational isomers with different values of dihedral angles. Let us observe Newman projection formula of a portion of simple organic molecule. If the dihedral angle is, either 0 degrees to plus 90 degrees, or, 0 degrees to minus 90 degrees, then, all those conformers are, sin conformers. If the dihedral angle is, either plus 90 degrees to 180 degrees, or, minus 90 degrees to 180 degrees, then, all those conformers are, anti-conformers. If the dihedral angle is, either plus 30 degrees to plus 150 degrees, or, minus 30 degrees to minus 150 degrees, then, all those conformers are, clinal conformers. Specifically, they can be described as, plus synclinal, or, plus anticlinal, or, minus synclinal, or, minus anticlinal. If the dihedral angle is, 0 degrees to, plus, or, minus, 30 degrees, or, if the dihedral angle is, plus, or, minus, 150 degrees, to 180 degrees, then, such conformers are, paraplanar. They can be, synparaplanar, or, antiparaplanar. Now, let us understand these conformers, with suitable examples. If the dihedral angle is plus 20 degrees, then, it is called as, plus, synparaplanar conformer. Because, we know that, if the dihedral angle is, 0 degrees, 2, plus or minus 90 degrees, then, it is, basically, a sin conformer. As the dihedral angle is, less than, plus 30 degrees, specifically, it is paraplanar. Hence, the conformer is, plus, sin paraplanar conformer. Similarly, If the dihedral angle is, minus 20 degrees, then, it is, minus, sin paraplanar. If the dihedral angle is, plus 45 degrees, then, it is, plus synclinal conformer. If the dihedral angle is, minus 45 degrees, then, it is, minus, Synclinal conformer. If the dihedral angle is plus 120 degrees, then it is plus anticlinal conformer. If the dihedral angle is minus 120 degrees, then it is minus anticlinal conformer. If the dihedral angle is, plus, 160 degrees, then, it is, plus, antiparaplanar conformer.
If the dihedral angle is, minus, 160 degrees, then, it is, minus, antiperiplanar conformer. Conformational analysis of, n-butane. Molecular formula of n-butane is, C4, H8, and, the structural formula is. The Newman projection formula of, n-butane is. The molecule is viewed, through, C2, C3 bond. Above shown conformation is, antiperiplanar, as, the dihedral angle is, 180 degrees. Now, let us start from fully eclipsed, sin, periplanar conformer. It is highly unstable, due to the maximum repulsions, between methyl groups, and, hydrogen atoms, bonded to, C2, and, C3 carbon atoms. Rotation of, C2, in syn periplanar conformer, by, plus 60 degrees, gives, plus synclinal conformer. It is relatively stable, then, syn periplanar conformer, due to, partial staggering. Rotation of, C2, in plus synclinal conformer, by, plus 60 degrees, gives, plus anticlinal conformer. This, plus anticlinal conformer, is relatively unstable, due to partial eclipsing of, methyl groups, and, hydrogen atoms, on C2, and C3 carbon atoms. Rotation of, C2, in, plus anticlinal conformer, by plus 60 degrees, yields antiperiplanar conformer. It is the most stable conformer, due to complete staggering of, methyl groups, and, Hydrogen atoms, on, C2, and, C3 carbon atoms. Rotation of, C2, in antiperiplanar conformer, by another 60 degrees, gives, minus, anticlinal conformer. This conformer is relatively unstable, due to partial eclipsing. Rotation of, C2, in, minus anticlinal conformer, by another 60 degrees, generates, minus, synclinal conformer. It is also, relatively stable, due to partial staggering. Finally, the rotation of C2, by another 60 degrees, gives syn periplanar conformer. As already mentioned, it is the most unstable conformer, due to the complete eclipsing of methyl groups, and, hydrogen atoms, on, C2, and, C3 carbon atoms. Now, let us observe, the plot of, potential energy against, dihedral angle of, various conformers of, and butane. Let us start with, Highly unstable, syn periplanar conformer, whose dihedral angle is zero. Rotation of, C2, in syn periplanar conformer, by, plus 60 degrees, gives, plus synclinal conformer. Rotation of, C2, in plus synclinal conformer, by, plus 60 degrees, gives, plus anticlinal conformer. Rotation of, C2, in plus, anticlinal conformer, by, plus 60 degrees, yields, antiperiplanar conformer. It is the most stable conformer, due to the, complete staggering of, methyl groups, and, hydrogen atoms, on, C2, and, C3 carbon atoms. Rotation of, C2, in antiperiplanar conformer, by another 60 degrees gives, minus, anticlinal conformer. Rotation of, C2, in, 
minus anticlinal conformer, by another 60 degrees, generates, minus, synclinal conformer. Finally, the rotation of C2, by another 60 degrees, gives syn paraplanar conformer. Pictorial representation of, the plot of, potential energy, against, dihedral angle, of various conformers, of n-butane, is presented. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.